Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today I'm comparing AMD's R9 380 with its predecessor, the R9 280X. Well, I'd actually have to compare it with the 280 or 285 then, but I haven't got the chance to test these cards, so we'll stick with the 280X. <music> The pricing of these two graphics cards makes this comparison very interesting, because the R9 380 costs a bit less than the 280X. And we're not talking of little little less, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna be quiet now and roll on the benchmarks for you. <music> Interesting, so it didn't turn out as spectacular as I wanted to. I was hoping the R9 380 to beat the 280X, but it's not really the case. While it did a fantastic job at keeping up with the older 280X, in certain games it fell behind it a little. But then again we're not exactly comparing fair here. Pricing is different and it's not the 280 or 285, it's the 280X we're putting this 380 against. Still for what it is, it does a good job and there's not always a noticeable performance difference. For short, the R9 280X does a little bit better. When it comes to temperatures though, the newer 380 is ahead again, not by much, but it's definitely noticeable. The power consumption pretty much is identical, plus minus some watts. One thing you should note though is the VRAM. While the R9 380 has 2GB of GDDR5 memory, the 280X actually offers us 3GB. So that's a difference. So in the end I'd call it a tie performance wise. The R9 380 has a higher chance to receive better optimization through future driver updates, but the 280X might still be the better choice of these two GPUs for the future thanks to its extra 1GB of VRAM. It would have been great if AMD equipped the R9 380 with 3GB too. But yeah, I hope this quick comparison could clarify things to you. Make sure to not miss out on my upcoming comparisons with the R7 370. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.